so let's continue our test and in the last episode we have written this test to assert that mail is successfully sent but you know we have some problem let's write another test and then i will show you the problem why it's not giving the suggestions okay so this is good so i will say an otp email is not sent if uh, credentials are incorrect okay so this is the very important point so i will copy all of these things and paste it here so this time i'm giving password as any gibberish so now if i try to run this you can see we are saying here some problem which is like if the given data is invalid to tackle this situation we just need to turn off the exception handling or turn on the exception handling so run this and it is passing we have given incorrect password but still it passes because if i go to my login controller here you can see it doesn't matter if the login is successful or not we are sending the email so this is very very bad thing so now we need to assert that assert not sent this email so let's run it and yeah it says mailable was actually sent so let's cut this from here and i will say result so now i will here give a check that if result is true then only we are going to send this email and then let's just return the result so mail is the otp mail is only going to send if the user is successfully logged in so let's once more run the previous test and yes this time it is successful so we have done this thing very quickly with the test that is because obviously because of the test so this is good but now we need to send an actual uh, otp on the email so first thing first let's go to our login controller so login controller and here whenever you are creating or sending any email you just need to create a uh, otp so i will create an otp variable so let's use capital letter otp and here i'm going to create a random number so now we can simply use rand uh, rand function and inside the rand function what you need to do actually let's go to the definition it's not going to definition no problem so here we need to have a six digit random number so what i will do just diane dump this otp to check what we are getting so if we run the test run the previous test uh, it's not doing that because this is the not uh, incorrect one so we have to run this test actually and it is saying that rand exactly two parameter rand need two parameter okay so how many what are the things it need first is min and then is max so i want to have between 10000 1 2 3 4 5 let's say 100000 to 1 2 3 4 5 6 nine 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 so let's once more run the test and that has to be here and this time we are getting 107033 let's run the test once more and getting the other number this means our random number is generated successfully so we need to just pass this otp here and now we need to open this otp mail here in the constructor we need to accept that otp so we get otp so let's say public otp here and let's say this otp is equal to the otp we get from the mail okay and then we are going to pass this with keyword so with like this so otp is dollar otp okay this is good so now what i'm going to do i will go to the chrome and open the mail trap dot io it's just going to simulate the email sending part it just trapped the email so log in with your gmail account or github account whatever you want and now after this you can see on this demo inbox if i reset from the older one 
and you get the username go to dot env file scroll down and here username is this one and password is this one oops why is that okay that's wrong it is opened okay paste it and tls encryption encryption tls yeah optional so this is done and now what i going i'm going to do i'm going to just create a server so php artisan serve and what happened okay no problem so it is good and let's open this markdown otp which is on resources views and otp dot blade here we have these things and because i have to uh, say format on save to false because this is creating problem with this uh, this blade snippet when I save it just uh, unformat these thing I don't know why is that with this extension of uh, blade snippet so that's why I need to format on save to false okay so we have this and here I can say uh, let's say here your OTP is and now let's say OTP so this is nice and let's try to send the email so if we go to test and if we try to run this test yeah it is successful but this is not going to send any actual email it's just a testing part so what we can do we can go here to localhost 8000 we will log in here with Sarthak at Bitfumes and password is secret and now it says undefined variable OTP where here so on this OTP mail this has to be this arrow OTP I think you have prompted that one thing more we need to do which is here if you go to login controller we are sending the email but to whom we have not defined to where we are going to send the email so here I will say to and let's define this to bitfumes at gmail.com so now this is good so everything is good so once more let's try to log in so secret or the Sarthak at bitfumes and the password is secret click on the login it's doing something that means it is sending the email and now if I go here yes we have the OTP mail and uh, your OTP is this one so next task is to just to save this OTP when we are sending this this OTP to our caching so I need to say cache and here I need to say put and putting this OTP so let's say I want to put this OTP and OTP is actually this OTP and the time I want to save this is uh, from now and add seconds or add minute actually add minute only so one minute it is valid but to show you how this is going to work I will say add seconds so how many seconds let's say uh, 20 seconds and till 20 seconds this cache is going to work or it's going to cache this uh, value of OTP so we have this and now what we need to do we need to just check or verify this cached OTP to the OTP given by the user via their email and we will do this thing in the next episode so if you have liked this episode please go and subscribe to this channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon to get instant notification like bitfumes on facebook twitter and instagram so we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye